Hi scientists, how's it going? My name is Reggie from the California Science Center and I'm here to help you feel a little less stuck at home. So this week we've really been touching on the idea of engineering and putting things together to make something new, right? So what we're going to do today is we actually have some special guests. We have Kenzie and Marissa who are actually going to show you how to build some instruments uh, from things that you have at your house. So I'm going to actually turn it over to them so they can give you a little bit more information on how all those things work. So Kenzie, why do you think a guitar sounds different than a drum? Hold up. Before we answer that, let's see if we can create something around, around our house from all the random things that we can find. So today we went around the house and we found some random things. Kenzie, what's something we found around our house? We found a lid, some rubber bands, and I thought that it would be a good idea to put the rubber bands on the lid like this. Make sure you do three. Or you could put four. I suggest probably three, though. So when you put three little rubber bands, scoot them over so they're not too close, but not too far. So then when you have them perfectly lined up like this, and when you strum them, it makes a little noise. Now you have a mini guitar. Yep. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun, I can see that at one more, so fake, fake. Hey! So, what else did we find around the house, Kinsey? I found these cups. Some jars. I found these really cool jars with water in them. Well, I put water in them different amounts, and you can put food coloring, just to make it look cool. And... Ooh! Wow. You made a xylophone! Very cool! Yeah. The different amount of water makes the sounds different in each of the jars. What else did we find around the house, Lindsay? I found this little skinny jar, and I put beans in it. Make sure the lid is on. So beans don't go everywhere. And then you shake it, when you shake it, it sounds like a maraca. So, musical instruments and uh, sounds in general vibrate, right? Different instruments use strings, like the guitar we made earlier. Um, maybe even some are just made of columns of air, like a flute or an organ. Oh, or we found this really cool thing around the house earlier that made a big noise, and we were like, what? Mm -hmm. This bottle, give it a try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just even air can make some vibrations and some sounds and music. Um, but ultimately, they all vibrate, typically hundreds or even thousands of times per second. Uh, once the Science Center reopens again, go ahead and check out that whispering tube in Creative World. Uh, using vibrations, you can make your voice travel really, really far even a whisper. So thanks for joining us live and we hope you're feeling a little less stuck That's at cool. home. Thank you, bye. Wow, scientists. I really hope you enjoyed our fam jam with Marissa and Kenzie. Um, that's all we have for you today, but go ahead and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Be sure to tag us at Stuck at Home Science, hashtag Stuck at Home Science. And show us what you've been doing from home, from the from my house. This is Reggie, and I hope you're feeling a little less stuck at home. Be sure to visit our website Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. for more stuck-at-home science activities.